Hi, this is Matt with M plus M Industries. This video will be covering the adjustable gas system of the M10X. So all the M10Xs from the first generation M10X elites up into the current generation, the M10XZ and the M10XP, all have the same adjustable gas system on it. So this video will apply to any of the models currently in production. So before making adjustments to the gas valve, be aware that the gas valve is located right here in the front of the gas block and it does heat up when firing as hot gas is traveling through it. So you wanna make sure you don't try to adjust the gas valve when the firearm is hot. So if you've been shooting, either wait for it to cool down to ambient temperature or adjust the gas valve accordingly before you're trying to shoot it. Also, it's best to make sure that you are clear before trying to adjust it, especially in the case of the M10 XP with the shorter 12 inch barrel, the pistol version, you're getting your hand a little close to the muzzle, so just be careful. So the M10X has two standard settings on the gas valve, which are called position one and position two. Position one is kind of your standard setting and position two is your over gas setting. Now the way you tell what position you're in is by this little arrow on the gas valve here. So when it's pointed straight down towards the barrel to the six o'clock position, that is position one. And when it is pointed off to the right hand side towards the ejection port side of the rifle, um, that is position two. So you can tell when you're actually in position as the gas valve will be locked in place. So if you're able to freely rotate the gas valve like this, you're not actually locked into position. Um, the ports are not lined up and you won't actually get proper gas, if any gas at all, depending on where it is exactly. So you wanna make sure that you're actually locked and secured into position before trying to fire. Now, depending on what position you wanna be in, that's kind of dependent on what kind of ammo you're using. But to adjust the gas valve, there's this little detent off to the side right here. So this is what actually holds the gas valve as well as the gas tube in place. So to adjust the gas valve, I'm gonna push and hold about halfway on the detent. And as you can see, that frees up the gas valve and then you can rotate it into the appropriate place. So right here, again, two in position one. Also, if you want to remove the gas valve, you can press and hold the detent and rotate it until the slugs line up with the cutouts in the gas tube. And I do cover a disassembly and reassembly of the whole gas system in another video. So be sure to check that out. But for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna show you the different ports available on the gas valve itself. So the purpose of the adjustable gas system on the M10X is to give the end user the ability to tune the gun to the ammunition that they're using or the conditions that they're using it in. Um, 76239 ammunition, generally speaking, has a lot of variation to it. There are a few standards. There's SAMI, there's CIP spec. There's also a lot of older mil spec ammunition from varying countries, Eastern, Western Europe, Asia, uh, domestically produced ammo, current production, old production, it's all over the place. So depending on what 76239 you're shooting, the pressure can vary. And with the different ports on the gas valve, again, you have position two, which is your more open port and position one, it gives you the ability to kind of switch it over to a more appropriate position so you can control the gassing a little better. Most designs like AK-47s, for example, generally overgas. And when you overgas, you can get it to run with most anything out there. However, it's at a cost of the recoil impulse being a little harsher, the gun cycling a little bit more erratically. When you tune the gun to what you're using, you can get the gun, the action to run a lot more consistently, a lot more smoother. And that generally just translates to an easier to shoot firearm, one that's got a much significantly improved and softer, gentler recoil impulse, um, especially compared to a lot of other 76239 guns out there on the market. So position one here, the smaller gas port, this is generally considered the standard operating setting of the M10X. Most ammo, general, SAMI, CIP spec, most of the stuff out there on the market should run fine in position one. Now position two, depending on what exactly you're shooting, you may need to switch it over to get a little bit more gas into the system. Um, we do find that when the guns are brand new, generally within the first 100, 150 rounds or so, you may need to break it in. Um, you may need to over gas it a little bit during that initial break in period to get things to run a little smoother. And after everything's kind of worked together, you can start running everything on position one. Now, 
when I say most things, there are some ammunition out there that is generally lighted, loaded lighter than some others. So it's always best to check with what exact ammo you're using. Now to give you an example, the two ammunitions that I have here are Gecko, which is a European produced brass case commercial ammunition. And I have Wolf, which this is just a Russian steel Bernal, typical what you're gonna experience with Wolf, Tula, Bear, uh, those kinds of cheaper steel cased ammunitions. Now these two here, every single gun that leaves the factory is test fired with both of these right here. And generally speaking, when the gun's brand new, uh, the Gecko is loaded a little lighter, generally won't always cycle on position one. So when we test it, we test it on position two to make sure it cycles appropriately on that position. The steel case here is a little hotter, and this will always run fine on position one and two. Now in position one, it runs very smooth. On position two, you can notice that it's a little sharper of a recoil impulse and that it also changes the ejection pattern. So typically speaking, one of the best ways to tell if your gun is appropriately gassed is the ejection pattern. If you have casings going out to the three o'clock position, that's what's considered ideal with the M10X. If you have casings going back towards you um, to more of like the, say, four or five o'clock position, that can generally be a sign of undergassing. And if the casing is being ejected forward to say like the one or two o'clock position, that could be a sign of overgassing. So you can kind of adjust accordingly based upon that. Um, you also want to look out for certain types of malfunctions. So something like a short stroke or failure to feed could be a sign of undergassing. If the system isn't getting enough gas to properly work the action, then it may need a little bit more gas to cycle the bolt appropriately. If you're experiencing something like uh, stovepipes, that can be a common sign of overgassing where the action's actually moving too quickly and it's catching the ejecting casing before it has time to fully eject from the firearm. So always experiment, uh, especially if you're running something outside of norm. Um, generally, 7.6239 ammunition is around 120 to 124 grains. Um, you will see some stuff heavy loads, um, subsonic, stuff like that, you may need to tweak the gas position accordingly, um, especially if you're running the gun suppressed. So it may take a little trial and error, but try your gun in both positions and see which one it runs better with the particular ammunition that you're using. So hopefully this information helps some of you guys out. Thank you for watching.